Overactive bladder medications mainly work on the bladder muscle. Interstim therapy works in a different way because it works on the nerves that control the bladder. There is a treatment option that doctors recommend to patients who are suffering with overactive bladder, who have not responded to or weren't able to tolerate the side effects of more conservative treatments like drugs. It is called interstim therapy or sacral nerve stimulation. How does interstim therapy work? The theory is that mild stimulation of the sacral nerves reduces the signals to the nervous system, which may be causing the symptoms of overactive bladder. Interstim therapy begins with a test stimulation procedure that may be done in the office or as an outpatient procedure. During this procedure, a soft wire is placed underneath the skin near the tailbone and then is connected to an external test stimulator that may be worn on a belt. The patient experiences the effects of sacral nerve stimulation during the at-home test period. If the patient's test stimulation results show improvement of overactive bladder symptoms, the patient may go on to have a separate procedure so that the soft wire can be connected to a neurostimulator that is implanted underneath the skin in the upper buttock. The neurostimulator is a small device that looks very similar to a heart pacemaker. It works much in the same way as a pacemaker, by sending mild electrical pulses through the soft wire. In theory, these pulses stimulate the sacral nerve to control the symptoms of overactive bladder. After the procedure is completed, your doctor will turn the neurostimulator on, and that mild stimulation of the sacral nerve may assist in proper bladder function. Most patients tolerate the procedure well. Results may vary. Ask your doctor if interstim therapy is right for you. You can also learn more at www.interstim.com or call 1-800-664-5111, extension 3150. No therapy is without risks. In addition to risks related to a medical procedure, complications from this therapy can include pain and infection, among others. These complications were generally resolvable in the clinical study.